it hurt me when you were with somebody else. And like waking up to like looking at pictures of you and like with this guy you were dating. And you know, it was just like unhealthy and like it just made me upset and sad, you know what I mean? Yeah. In my head, like seeing you around any guy bothers me. Around another human that I'm not flirting with? Maybe it's just something. I don't know. I feel like you're like a little flirty or you're like, I'm oh. not. I promise. So word on the street is that Scott's health isn't exactly in the best shape lately. But here's where things take a wild turn. Rumor has it that Scott's pointing fingers at none other than the momager herself, Kris Jenner. Yep, you heard it here first. According to some insiders, Scott's claiming that Kris attempted to throw him under the bus for the upcoming Hulu show set to premiere in May. And if we take a stroll down memory lane, it's no secret that the Kardashians have a history of using Scott to amp up their ratings. Remember when they brought him in during Courtney's pregnancy just to stir the pot? Yeah, Scott's been their go-to drama magnet for a hot minute. So, if Scott's allegations hold any truth, it could mean major trouble for Chris and the gang. I'm talking headlines, lawsuits, the whole nine yards. Buckle up, folks, because it looks like we're in for another round of Kardashian chaos. Chris Jenner, the master puppeteer, seems to have a new plot up her sleeve. She's cooking up a scheme that's so bizarre it could only come from the Kardashian matriarch. You see, their show The Kardashians is not the rating powerhouse it once was, and Chris is not one to sit back and watch the numbers drop. So, she's got her sights set on an unconventional storyline, Khloe Kardashian and Scott Disick hooking up. I know, it's a jaw-dropper, especially coming from a mother's perspective. But hey, this is Kris Jenner we're talking about. Nothing's off the table when it comes to getting that spotlight. I think Scott maybe needs a little pep talk because this is probably the unhealthiest I've seen him. He's barely mobile, and it's all from his back. In recent episodes, we've witnessed some eyebrow-raising scenes where Chloe is making unnecessary visits to Scott. Chloe, we're close enough that I could sleep here. I'm not saying you can't, but like for a night or something. And even rushing him to the hospital. You have to do physical therapy. You don't just like get new shit. Who wants a surgery? You're in a car accident. Yeah. Since then, everything has changed in my life. Like, I haven't been able to run around, I've gained weight. And who can forget the moment when Chris slyly convinced everyone, including Scott himself, that he has a crush on Chloe? I think Scott probably has a crush on Chloe. Listen, I have a crush on Chloe. Everyone has a crush on Chloe. She even went as far as to call Penelope Scott's daughter and asked her who Scott should date. What qualities should we look for in a girl? Older. He was saying late 20s, but I said young 30s no, is fine. No, 20s? Whatever. Exactly. Uh, You're 40. It's all part of Chris's grand plan to boost those ratings. But here's the twist. There's some history to this drama. Rumor has it that Scott and Chloe had an off-screen fling back in 2015. So, while it might sound absurd, there's a backstory that might just add some fuel to this ratings fire. Now, what's Courtney's take on all this? She's not having it, folks. Courtney's furious with Chris and Chloe, and she's not holding back. She's even threatened to tear up that contract with the show and the entire Kardashian family. If you've been keeping up with the Kardashians from the get-go, then you know Courtney has consistently shown she's different from her younger siblings. As the oldest child, Courtney was often the scapegoat of the family, and she had a tumultuous relationship with her mom, Chris, since she was a child. Courtney resented Chris for breaking up the family by having an affair with Todd Waterman, while Chris never fully acknowledged how her affair hurt Courtney. For some reason, you do not give mom the benefit of the doubt ever from your childhood, and it's really unfair. As for Courtney's younger sisters, Kim and Chloe, they would almost always take Chris's side and blame Courtney for every little thing. I'm just saying sometimes our memories get a little warped by our age. I'm just saying, but don't be so hard on your mom. For the years, it also became clear that Kim and Chloe were jealous of Courtney's confidence, and they hated how Courtney didn't have to try hard to get attention. While both Kim and Chloe have drastically changed their appearance with cosmetic procedures, and they're still photoshopping their Instagram posts beyond recognition, Courtney is the most natural, looking Kardashian, and she simply doesn't care about projecting a perfect image for social media. Besides that, Courtney is the only one of Kris Jenner's daughters with a college degree. 
and she was never obsessed with fame and the spotlight. However, thanks to her personality and sense of humor, Courtney quickly became fans' favorite sister, and Kim just couldn't handle it. In fact, Kim would often throw it in Courtney's face how she made her famous and gave her a career. Just not do that for me as a favor, because I've done so much for you. And for Scott to call me and say, you should buy her a pair of shoes. I don't need a pair of shoes in the game. I can buy my own and shoes. And I'm like, buy her a pair of shoes, all the I've done for her. I said to Scott, I, I'm not buying her a pair of shoes. I bought her a career. And the more unbothered Courtney was, the more Kim and Chloe tried to provoke her by accusing her of being lazy and not contributing enough to the show. Our job is being open and honest and sharing a lot of ourselves, and it just seems like for the past few years now, Courtney hasn't really been open about her personal life on camera. So all of the days that Courtney isn't filming, Chloe and I are picking up the slack and having to share more, because if we're not sharing our lives, then what is the show? But if you're an OG KUWTK fan, then you know Courtney shared more than enough over the years. All her messy drama with Scott was broadcast for the world to see, and she literally gave birth to two children on camera. So for Kim and Chloe to accuse her of not showing enough is crazy. But for some reason, Kim and Chloe kept picking on Courtney. And while Chloe would often act as the instigator, Kim would do the most to humiliate Courtney on camera. To give you just one example, during one episode of KUWTK, Chloe instigated a fight between Courtney and Kim by telling Kim that Courtney didn't care about her fashion opinions. Of course, Kim immediately jumped at the opportunity to attack Courtney, while Chloe acted clueless like she didn't totally insult her. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never dressed like you. Oh, is there a fight here? No, but Danielle was like, when you're public, I don't care if Danielle's there. Hi, Danielle. I dress completely different than Kim. Kim went completely crazy and bombarded Courtney with mean text messages, calling her an ungrateful bee and trash talking her with Chris. She just was going so crazy. She's sending me the meanest text messages. You would die. She's like, you're the biggest ungrateful bitch. And Courtney's like, screamed at me on the screamed phone. Screamed at you. And was like, you think I like your style? You have the lamest style. You and fake humanitarian I actually do for the world. And you and fake it all day long and act like, oh, there's people dying, Kim. And what the f are you doing about it? But clearly, this wasn't just about Courtney wearing Kim's favorite designer, and many fans said Kim never got over Courtney exposing her for being shallow and self absorbed. Diamond earring came up in the ocean and it's gone. Kim, there's people that are dying. The tension between Kim and Courtney culminated during the season 18 premiere when Kim once again provoked Courtney and then proceeded to act like a victim. Courtney was just sitting there minding her own business when Kim made a shady comment about how Courtney and Kendall can't be trusted to show up for important things. I just said, Mom is so used to it. And then I said, me, Courtney, me and Chloe, you know, whenever, if we're you don't care about stuff. <laughs> if you mention it again, literally shut the up and don't laugh like that. You look like a freak. Courtney then threw an empty water bottle at Kim, and Kim completely lost it and ended up slapping Courtney twice. If I didn't want to work my ass and I wanted to be a stay at home mom, that's fine. How can How old are you? Stop. Stop. Guys, stop. How old am I? Stop. How old are you? But despite Kim and Chloe constantly trying to portray Courtney as the lazy, ungrateful sister, fans saw right through their scheme and they took Courtney's side. Kim is very verbally and emotionally abusive. One fan said, the only reason people watched the Kardashians to begin with was Scott and Courtney. I think Courtney is finally standing up for herself and highlighting emotional abuse. The way they treat her is so awful. I wonder, do they actually see how they appear to the public? It's never okay to constantly put another person down. What's also interesting is that Kim and Chloe seem to get along best with Courtney when Courtney was at her most miserable and dealing with Scott's drama. However, ever since Courtney found true happiness with Travis Barker, Kim and Chloe again started acting like mean girls. In 2022, Courtney became the first Kardashian member to attend the Oscars and she walked the red carpet with Travis. But get this, Kim barely acknowledged Courtney's attendance. And instead, she posted photos of herself from the Vanity Fair Oscars after party. Kim even captured the photo of herself, Oscars 2022, as if she attended the actual event and not just the after party. One source later told The Sun that Kim was jealous of all the attention Courtney and Travis were getting as a couple 
and that watching Courtney walk the red carpet was bittersweet. Kim is so happy for Courtney, but part of her wonders if she is slipping on the social scale, this source said. For the first time, Courtney is receiving as much, if not more, attention than her, while her name is mostly just tied to Kanye and their messy divorce. But if you thought that was bad, wait till you see how Kim tried to make Courtney's wedding day all about herself and couldn't even hide her jealousy while giving a speech at the wedding reception. During the recent Hulu special, Courtney and Travis, Kim was shown giving Courtney advice about walking down the aisle, and all Kim could talk about was her own wedding in Italy to Kanye. Kim also told Courtney that she needs to stay calm and take it all in because this happens only once. Really? Only once? Doesn't Kim have like three marriages behind her? But that's not all. Kim later gave a half-hearted speech at the wedding reception, and many fans said the speech sounded like Kim was making fun of Courtney and Travis's relationship. You brought us along oh. in your fairy tale, and there's really no love story like you guys. It's a movie, it's the cutest, you guys are the best. One fan commented, even Kim's tone in how she gave the wedding night speech seemed weird. And another person said, Kim came out so bitter after this episode, like I understand her marriage with Kanye and divorce or hell, but this is about her sister. Just suck it up for one day. Now as for Chloe, rumor has it that she's also insanely jealous of Courtney's happily ever after, but she's trying to fake it for the public because she doesn't want people to start talking about her, her and Tristan Thompson. Chloe Chloe and Tristan are rumored to be back together. However, Chloe is trying really hard to hide it, and while she publicly supports Courtney and Travis's union, fans notice that her body language is telling otherwise, and she seems very bitter that she'll never have that kind of relationship with Tristan. Chloe's body language says it all. She doesn't approve of Court and Travis. Speaking of weddings, Courtney. Great timing, Vegas, 2 a.m., Elvis, whose idea? The second we got to Vegas, <laughs> no, the second we got to Vegas, actually, we just started, you know, talking about the idea, and then after swimming one eight, it was just, there was no option. So how does Courtney feel, knowing that her own sisters are jealous of her happy marriage? While according to sources close to Courtney, she knows very well how toxic Kim and Chloe can get, and she no longer lets this bother her. In fact, Courtney recently admitted that she wouldn't mind if her family retired and left her alone. Fam Can the Kardashians just retire? That would be nice. Fans are now praising Courtney for setting boundaries for herself, and they're also dragging Kim and Chloe for being jealous of their sister. One fan commented, Kimberly and Chloe are totally envious of Court. I noticed the sisters barely posted to anything about the wedding. Maybe it was kept private, but it seems to be jealousy, and Court probably had to put them all in their place. She seemed to be happier with Travis than her sisters. And another fan added, that's jealousy all right, with Chloe being the pod star. Perhaps Kim found out that Courtney and her husband received Met Gala invitations possibly by strings pulled by Ye himself. And now I wanna hear your thoughts on how do you feel about Chris's nasty plan. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and love you guys so, so much.